The following is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar looking at how to color correct a scene using Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, I show you how to create the Pleasantville effect, where one thing stays in full color and everything else goes black and white. So I'm going to just use this as an example. And we're going to keep the red jacket and make everything else black and white. That's a color mask. And we go over to here and we select the color. I'm just simply holding the mouse button down and dragging. Oh, see how it's picking up his face right there? And picking up some of the, yeah, that's not good. We'll hold this down, expand it over. I'm holding the shift key down. Yeah, we're picking up way too much of that background take saturation outside the selection area take saturation down and what we've just done is we've desaturated everything that we haven't selected except we've got this area in here where his face is part of the red because the red of the face and the red of the jacket are the same so now what we got to do is we got to figure out how to isolate that so we go back to here we add a, another correction Correction 2, it's a shape mask. We'll put it over his face. Right about there. Make sure there's not a lot of feathering, meaning none. And now I go over to here, and inside the mask, I desaturate. Notice that everything is black and white except his red jacket. And the way we got there is I added a color mask to select the color that I want to keep. Now, if his jacket was green and orange and red and blue and purple, you can't do it with a color mask. The color mask assumes that all the colors are roughly the same. There, you'd have to use a shape mask. or start to. Get, then it starts to get really tricky, because you can do it with masking and garbage mats and stuff, but you can't do it easily with the color corrector. But because I was picking up so much of his face, I added a second shape correction and took his face to black and white, which is why we got rid of that color leakage. The difficulty is, as he moves, I have to change the position of this stuff. I can add a keyframe. All right, so let's say he moves there to here. Can I move this over to there? All right. Okay, I can add position tracking, and I could change the shape, but I can't change. Okay, good. So I can change the position of this, and I can change the shape of it. All right, and the way we do that is we put our playhead where we want the movement to start. Click this downward pointing arrow, add a keyframe, position this and shape this as you see fit, add another keyframe and change its position or shape. Now you know how it works. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at how to color correct a scene inside Final Cut Pro 10. If you need to stretch your training dollars, the subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. You get access to more than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers both Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week, and for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz store and look for webinar 101.